I would like to show my experiment transferring of power through coils. So all we need is the circuit which consists of capacitors and multimeter and the power source it may be adapter or battery. And the important thing is the coil over here. The diameter of I am going to take 3 volts of battery or 3 volts of adapter. And I am going to on this adapter so you can check it out. Here we go. I set it in hold mode so you can see it. It is 3.86, approximately 3.9 volts. So it is the output of my adapter. I am connecting this adapter to this circuit. So this is a circuit which I found in my home. And I disable this transformer and this key. So I, it is not necessary for my experiment. Just I want to use this capacitors which helps in this circuit. And uh, here we go. When you start uh, connecting this circuit, you may see that sparks are generating this. So this is the major part of this experiment. So you can see here. Light is producing in this coil. According to Fleming's right hand rule, when current flows through a coil, then it produces a magnetic field in perpendicular to its manner. So the magnetic field which again generates flux in this coil and uh, it is converted into the electricity that you can see in this one. Here we go. So I'm I'm using three volts to transform the power in this circuit and the three volts is going into this coil and I'm collecting 0.4 volts that I have I can show you but uh, unfortunately it may harm to my multimeter so I can't show you so the approximate voltage of uh, LED to glow is 0.1 so it can bear up to three volts So we can generally guess that uh, you can take one volt. So think about this matter. What about using two or three coils rapidly at one time? You can see three are glowing at a time. It is not necessary that uh, you should consist of this coil to receive this power but you may also have this uh, uh, inductors. So we, can, we used to study in higher classes that indu inductor consists of uh, coils which is inserted. So make sure that it should be perpendicular to ground and parallel to this uh, coil. So you can see here, light is glowing. Because of this is a, I think it is of 10, 10 millihertz, right, 10 millihertz. So the light is glowing slowly.
Just I made this was this is my other experiment but I use in this to just check out the density of the voltage. You can see here at the center of the coil the electric density is so high. So I am getting high voltage and the flow of current is as I am going away from the coil the density of the voltage decreases and the light you can see it is going down, down, down. When I am coming towards the coil, it is going very. If I go away, same thing happens. You know, we can also grab this voltage by using the adapters and some other. You know, I just I will like this. Show this. This is a general adapter we use at homes. So I use this earlier to show that voltage is grab. You can observe that light is blinking. It is so dim because my transformer is step down transformer. So if I keep here, it may get high voltage. You can see here. You know, you can observe. Coming to adapter, we can also generate. We can also grab voltage from the adapters. So in this manner, so look at it. Nothing I am going to use. Just I want to. Use. You can see it is blinking. Output transcript Out of the 